Looking for the next best place to take a vacation? Want something different than your typical summer trip? Why look any other place in Russia? You may be thinking that Russia isn't for you, but I bet we can change your mind in just a few minutes. As we take you on an adventure through Russia, you will be booking your trip before we are done talking. Let's start with the basics so you can get an idea of this wonderful country. Russia is the largest country in the world that takes up 11% of the total land area of the world. This massive country stretches from Europe all the way to Japan, covering 11 different time zones. The Ural Mountains split the country. To the west of these mountains, most of the Russian population can be found, along with the most important Russian industries in fertile farmland. Most of the population speaks Russian, but the next largest ethnic groups are Tartar and Ukrainian, taking second and third for the most popular languages. Along with the languages, most Russian people are Russian Orthodox, but Muslim falls second. Typically, many people think of Russian fashion as dismal and traditional, but today they dress with flashy colors with a high level of detail. Most people tend to dress up as if they are going out rather than wearing simple everyday clothes. Throughout Russia's history, it has had many changes within the government. Today, it is a federation with democratic views. Because the democracy is rather new to some citizens of Russia, there is room for them to become more liberal. The current president is Vladimir Putin. With all of the touring you will be doing on your trip, you will need to stop to rest and grab some of Russia's traditional cuisine. In Russia, they love to incorporate soup into the majority of their meals. The most popular dish in Russia is the borscht. This soup has a beef base combined with vegetables and meat. It is best served with sour cream on top. Russian sour cream, also known as smetana, is commonly served on top of most meals. Another dish that many Russians pride themselves on is urka which many Westerners note to be caviar. It is served on top of crusty bread or a thin pancake similar to crepes. For dessert, treat yourself to some Russian ice cream, which is traditionally known as morozino. Many choose to top it with fruits and nuts. While these dishes stand out, common ingredients in Russian cuisine include potatoes, cabbage, and greens. After Russians fill themselves with delicious, authentic meals, the next thing they love to do is sports. That's right! Russia plans to host the Winter Olympic Games in 2014 in Sochi. Similar to the United States, Russia's top sports are centered on soccer, hockey, basketball, volleyball, and ice skating. Along with these sports, they also have a fantastic women's gymnastics team who received the Silver Olympic medal in the London Olympics this past summer. Ice skating has also stood out in previous Olympic Games, and since 1964, they have won gold every year in the pair competition. While many Westerners do not consider chess a sport, it is seen not only as an intellectual exercise, but a physical demanding experience. The Russian school of chess is very demanding and constantly is experimenting new chess techniques. Overall, sports are the main way that Russians stay active, as it also acts as a source of entertainment for spectators and tourists. If you are too tired to get involved in sports on your trip to Russia, just sit back and be entertained. Russian ballet and traditional Russian dancing has always been a large part of the Russian culture. The following clip will show you just a little bit of what Russian culture has to offer.
tell that the dancing soldiers truly enjoy representing their country in an entertaining and talented way. One famous ballet company in Russia is the Bolshoi Ballet Academy. This academy has been around for over 235 years and has produced the top dancers in the world who have been trained by world-class teachers and choreographers. But if dancing is not really for you and you are looking for something a little more relaxing, the Hermitage Museum would be a great option. The museum is located in St. Petersburg and today it is home to more than 3 million works of art and artifacts of the world's culture. It has had exhibits containing artifacts from the Prado and a variety of other countries. The Hermitage Museum has been open to the public since 1852. The paintings occupy six buildings along the Palace Embankment. It is safe to say that on your trip to Russia, you will never be bored with all of the entertainment that they provide. One of the things that sets Russia apart is its natural landscape. It's a sight in itself. Among all of the mountain ranges throughout the world, the Caucasus Mountains, where I am right now, really stand out. Mount Elbrus is a part of the Caucasus Mountain Range, and it is in the southern part of Russia. It was originally formed by a volcano, and it is home to many mountain climbers, inexperienced or experienced. If heights aren't for you, visit the Valley of Geysers. This is the second largest geyser field in the world. Another place that you must experience is Lake Baikal. This lake is the largest and deepest lake in the world. It is surrounded by scenic mountain ranges and has the clearest water in the world. Before you leave, there is one place that you can't miss, literally. Its architecture and creative design is truly remarkable. It's called St. Basil Cathedral. At first, it was painted all white, but now, as you can see, it is very colorful. This building was originally designed to resemble the medieval eight-pointed star. Today, it serves more as a museum with only one service set a year on the day of intercession in October. This is located in the bustling Red Square where many other tourist attractions await your visit. Among the food, culture, entertainment, and attractions, Russia will not disappoint when it comes to your next vacation. There is so much to do and see and the upbeat culture is something that you cannot miss. This little tourism video is only a small taste of what this massive country has in store for you. Thanks for watching!